Hey guys, back with another video where almost done with this series. Maybe I might just finish it if I feel like it. Like in this video, so. This is Taipan Country. This cane field is littered with rat burrows, just like this one. And given how prevalent the rats are, I would assume there'd be loads of taipans cruising around. But I'd say they're either down inside the rat burrows or somewhere where it's cool. Despite the fact the sun's gone down, it's still stinking hot. So, I'll come back a little bit later on. Night isn't necessarily the best time to find taipans, but when it's so hot during the day, it's probably a better bet. It's certainly when the rats are most active, It's gonna be more risky for me though, simply because it's harder to see what's going on around my feet. Taipan. Thing with the Taipan is, they're one of the stealthiest snakes in the Australian bush and would be the most dangerous snake that I'm gonna be dealing with on this entire journey. Beautiful specimen. They've got a habit of coming straight back up over their own body and whistling past your ear. So let's have a look at him and then I'll just release him on his way. Righto, mate. Good hunting. I work with snakes every day, but tight bands really rattle me. gaping mouth must look pretty intimidating to a rat, but that's not the point. The snake's just realigning its jaw. The rat's cover is soon blown wide open. Snakes have a unique way of eating. They've got no hands to shovel it in, and they... A sheriff's deputy stops oh by the IRS with a routine question. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Food, they swallow it whole, however large the meal is. They do this by unhinging their jaw from the rest of their skull. The prey is gulped down head first. Then digestive juices finish what the venom started. To see the second most venomous snake in the world, I'm going home to Brisbane, stopping off at the reptile park to say good day to my animals. common brown snake, number two in my top ten, has been seen behind my own house. Mm. Welcome into my shed. Every boy's got to have a shed. Now, I grew up in here. This shed's been here since the 1970s. Now, Terry, my wife, tells me somewhere in here there's a common brown snake, and a large one at that. She estimates it to be two metres, six feet. 
Ideally, mm. what they'll do is they'll stay low. They're a terrestrial snake, not venturing very high, and they're no good at climbing. Now, this is the perfect scenario for a brown snake, because where you've got rats and mice, of course, that's where you'll find your brown snakes. They come in and around through here, searching, looking for food. Oh, there goes a little mouse now. European house mouse. There's the little beauty. Snakes quite often find their way up into a car's engine box. Now comes the tough part of trying to get this highly venomous snake out of quite a tight area. The common brown likes places where people are common too. It gets into houses a lot. And when Australians are bitten, it's usually by this snake. I'm quite used to rescuing these snakes from frightened humans. is certainly very dangerous. I've had to use a catch bag. I don't muck with him. It's tail into a catch bag and now I'll get him back out into the bush where he can never run into a confrontation with people again. This is one of the greatest rewards for me, being able to release a potentially dangerous animal back out in the wilderness where he belongs. That's a rewards for you. Something that's cool. Have to be a little careful, because they normally come out of this bag very cranky. Now it's time to meet number one, the snake at the top of my list. Lizard. 